Hello everyone, and welcome back to D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die, Episode 1, Part 3. Now let's get back into it, and go and find some more missions to get done. That's odd. Where did I put it? Philip Cheney. Is that Cheney fellow always like that? Like what? I don't know what you mean. He seems... dangerous. Dangerous? Superficially polite. Like he's looking down on others. Not at all. Philip is a valued member of the crew. Mm -hmm. He's always the first to handle the difficult passengers, too. Difficult passengers? You mean, he handles the people looking for a lawsuit? No, I didn't say that. You sure did. No, sir. I only said difficult passengers. Deborah Anderson. So, a difficult passenger might be that woman with the life jacket on? What does that mean, sir? Exactly what I said. Who is she to you? It's a personal matter, but one I cannot overlook. I cannot discuss other passengers. Just a little would be okay. Surely. <sighs> right now, you're the most difficult passenger on this flight. A mysterious giant. Who's that giant in business class? What giant? I saw him come out of the galley. You can't miss him, surely. If you're making fun of me, I think I've had enough of it. Object of her search. What are you looking for? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Hmm. If you can't tell me, then allow me to tell you what it is. What do you mean, sir? The item you lost is... The crew manual, I bet. Uh, of course it isn't. Yet yeah, you've been struggling with the equipment here for a while now. Don't you think it would be better to have it? That... I'm not sure about. Whatever the reason, she's hiding something. I might get more out of her if I find the manual. I really need to find it. Hand the equipment manual. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, uh, thank you. I found it on one of the seats. Maybe a kid was playing with it? I just need to be more attentive. No problem, I assure you. But why do you even need the manual? It's a bit late once you're on board. Yes, well, I'm new to this job. New enough to need a manual. Hmm, very strange. Anyway, what was it you needed the manual for? I'm afraid I can't tell you. And whatever it is, is it something you can do with your bare hands? Oh, that's right. I also need the toolbox, but I can't seem to find that either. Hmm, toolbox, huh? She isn't asking outright, and yet she's quite skillfully making requests of me. No problem. I can play along a little longer. Let's go find it. Oh, look, it's a toolbox. Alrighty. I really need to find it. Hmm. 
Hand the toolbox. Got you the goods. I didn't ask for your help, sir. Huh? I also don't like the way you said that. You sound like a drug dealer. Old habits. I brought you exactly what you needed. Doesn't that warrant a thank you? Like I said, I didn't ask for your help. Yeah. I still don't have everything I need, either. Huh. I'll bet that attitude of yours makes you lots of friends. That has nothing to do with you, sir. Of course <sighs> not. So come on, what else do you need? What? You'll find it for me? I've started, Parted. so I'll finish. Yeah. It looks like you have your hands full, too. Okay. I'd like a blanket. The cabin does get chilly. <laughs> Very suspicious attendant. She You'll is. find it in a bag with the tag TFI B0065. A blanket with a tag on it? I think she's given herself away. But I'll play along a little longer. Unknown passenger. Do you have difficulty remembering people's faces? No, remembering faces, names, are two things that I'm normally good at. But I didn't remember you. Don't worry about it. I have one of those faces. About the flight. So tell me, is the flight going well? Why do you ask, sir? I don't mean anything by it. You don't? It certainly sounds like there's something specific you want to know. Just like you said. No deep meaning. Hmm. It's cloudy, but everything is fine. There's no need to worry, sir. Please just return to your seat. I'll go find your blanket. This woman. First, I'm gonna grab some coffee. Need some. Oh, okay. Not coffee, water. Get, grab some water, take a drink, then I'll go find her blanket. <sighs> to find it hand the heavy blanket this blanket is heavy really heavy what's in it that's no concern of yours sir why so specific about the tag then one blanket is like all the others why did you need a specific number <sighs> I cannot answer that sir you can't just who are you a flight attendant on AG Flight 117 to Boston. And who may you be? A passenger on AG Flight 117 to Boston. Hmm. Huh. You remember what I first called you? Stowaway, right? I hope, for your sake, that isn't the case, Mr. Passenger. Olivia Jones. She definitely knows something. I just hope she doesn't get in the way of my search for D. If she does, that'll mean a drastic change in our relationship. A warning. Can I give you one piece of advice? What is it, sir? If you want to look like a member of the cabin crew, try to smile a little more. You're always so on guard. One might mistake you for... undercover FBI. What does that mean? That you've got a face which is easy to read. Who are you? Really? <laughs> Just a curious passenger. Sorry to press you. I'm sorry, sir. I really do have to get back to work. Sure. Sorry to get in your way. <laughs> you can't fool me, Mrs. FBI member, and... Aww, 
He's so cute. That's one fashionable bear. Not bad for a gift from Washington, D.C. There's nothing here. What am I doing? It's hardly the time to be playing like this. Alrighty. Okay, nothing of importance there. Anything in the table? There's nothing here. Oh! <laughs> the designs in business class are just as atrocious. About your mannequin. Why do you have a mannequin with you? She is not a mannequin! How many times do I have to tell you? Look! She clearly has a seatbelt on. Oh, Suki, you have the perfect waistline. Oh, an unbelievably smooth skin. A human woman could never hope to achieve such... Perfection. The art world. Sorry, but it isn't really art that I wanted to talk to you about. So why are you bothering me? Art is the only thing that Suki and I have any interest in at all. Sunglasses on. Are those sunglasses art? Art that's about to happen, yes. This avant-garde style. I hate to say it, but time is moving fast. The era of retro and military is coming to an end. Finally. This is the cutting edge. This is avant-garde. Antonio Zapatero. Do you remember the two sitting in the seats at the very back? Whoever do you mean? When you came and educated me about the seat covers? The two who were directly behind us. I'm terribly sorry, but most of the time I only ever see Suki. I have no interest in anyone else, I assure you. Inspiration. Where do you get the inspiration for your fashion designs? I find it hard to believe you come up with them while sober. <laughs> I don't get my inspiration from anywhere. It can arrive most violently. But it won't come to you by just sitting around and waiting. You have to desperately chase it down. 
chase and chase like a dog gone wild. Even a mundane creature like you will understand. Eventually. I don't try and hide it. That's not really what I was asking. Then you need to make yourself clearer. I want to know about doping. Like, maybe your inspiration came from the use of certain drugs? Doping? Drugs? You think I would cheat my way to the top? I don't need drugs! Why would I? I have Suki. The mysterious giant. Let me ask you about something else then. Has that giant been on this flight since takeoff? Giant? What giant? Are you sure you aren't the one doping? Avant garde. So, this is the era of avant garde? Hmm. That's not quite right. It is. Avant garde! That difference is everything. You have to embrace it. Uh, me out. Okay. I have to say, and stop me if you've heard this before. Your choice in fashion is terrible. An affront to art itself. I never thought I'd meet a man who can walk around happily dressed like that. I think it looks good. <sighs> hey, it isn't that bad, right? Oh, please. It's that bad. Looks like you don't even have the right clothes to go shopping for clothes. No, go ahead. Tell me how you really feel. Uh, I can't open my heart to those with no understanding of art. After all, spending unproductive time sullies my brain, <laughs> damages my creativity. I don't have a leg to stand on with this guy, but I also can't just pass him over. Not with a name that starts with a D. Mm. You know, I'll give you a chance, though. Prove you can get with the dress code. And we may be able to chat. Just one item. Wear one single item that's cutting edge. And come see me again. Oh, avant-garde! I'm about to avant-garde myself off this plane. This sounds like a real drag. I wonder if there's anything tucked away in my closet that might help. What are you doing here? <laughs> this big fella. I've met him before somewhere, but I can't remember where. My scar is desperately trying to tell me that he knows something. Get out! 
out here now! My fake eye, weren't you? Trying to take it while I was sleeping? Is that your ass or your head? No more messing with this puppy! More lightning? Bad! Real bad! Baldy! I said! You're never, ever, ever gonna get my fake guy! Didn't I? Bitch. Antonio Zapatero! <laughs> there you are! You're this young I've been hearing so much about. Not like I'm gonna spill the slop on thee, though. What be in there for me? Hey, papi! <laughs> so how about you die, fucker? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn it! Wait! Antonio Zapatero! There's no way to stare in truth or dare! If you wanna know about D, go on a fucking investigation! <laughs> Hand over your evidence! Whatever it is! I need it! Are you serious? <laughs> you so silly! Then I'll just have to take it... by force! Hot beverage? If you really do know... who D is, I'll... What? If I really know, you'll what? Young a ling a ding dong. Oh my goddess, Suki! You'll get over it. Yeah, things just got serious. All right, Zapatero, I'm knocking this one out of the park. No hitting back at the pitcher! <laughs> this is how you use a megaphone! <laughs> what is the evidence you have? <laughs> Tell me! My precious eye went flying! <laughs> 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 You fucking dumbass! Maybe, but that doesn't matter. What do you know about D? Tell me! That really hurt! I'm gonna kill you now! So hand it over! Hand over! Your Ooh. evidence! Ooh. Oh. 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 oh, the crotch. Oh. Oh. How about you give up? You've had enough, right? Oh, shit, fuck! Oh, fuck! Nighty nighty, youngin. Hey, young man. Now I've got gotcha. you. Can't vanish now, can you? Don't move. Let him go. Olivia? I warned you. 
We don't take kindly to stowaways. Just... who are you? I... <laughs> Olivia? Rabbit? The courier? He... vanished? The courier rabbit would never hide in here. Alright everyone, this ends part 3 of episode 1. There's probably going to be a couple more parts after this, because this episode seems like it's going to be pretty long. So I'm going to finish it up in the next few parts. I hope you enjoyed this one, and as always, I will see you guys later. Bye.